Hello, Beam Summit people. My name is Marianne Nagy, and I'm a senior user experience researcher at Google. Today, I will talk about UX research and why we need your help if we wish to improve the usability of Apache Beam. I joined Google back in 2012 and had the opportunity to work on multiple projects through my career. In the past five years, however, I was focusing mainly on cloud data analytics products, including Apache Beam as the open source language that our customers use with Dataflow. My goal today is to show you why it's important for you to submit feedback and engage in UX research. I know, I know, this is a recorded talk. However, if you're on Slack, please participate in this little poll. On a scale of one to five, where one is strongly disagree and five is strongly agree, please rate how much you agree or disagree with the following statement. It's easy to advance my knowledge in Apache Beam. In a UX research section, I would ask a similar question, but in a more open-ended way. When we ask about documentation and learning advan uh, advancements in terms of Apache Beam in the past, we heard some very powerful feedback. People can become experts because there's a point where you get stuck. The info out there is pretty basic, said an advanced Apache Beam user back in January. I don't understand data processing in general, and there is something big missing in my head. I don't have the big picture, said a beginner user. Many people are familiar with Spark and how triggers work there. It took a while to understand the new concepts in Apache Beam said an advanced user. We collected the previous quotes through qualitative interviews. Scheduling time with our users is extremely important for us to improve, but it also takes a lot of time and we are limited in the number of participants we can reach. On the Beam website, we also have a send feedback button and some of you already utilized it and we've been able to implement some improvements. So thank you so much for that. However, the vast majority of the feedback that we receive through the website is unfortunately not actionable. While doing a one-on-one -on -one interview, I could ask you what makes the documentation bad. Feedback from the website gets anonymized and I don't have the opportunity to reach out to you and ask for more information. So to ensure that we can act upon your feedback and improve the tool, we need to understand your goal. What were you trying to do? What are you trying to accomplish? We need to understand your expectations. What did you expect to happen and what happened? Tell us if you were able to replicate the problem or if it happened more than once and give us all the details. The more, the better. You never know which piece of information will enable us to identify the core problem and implement something that will help. Look at these kids in the playground. Their goal is to have a good time. They don't care about the amount of time and money the city poured into the creation of, the, the, of these brown slides. They only care about maximizing their fun and that can be better accomplished on the blue slippery flat platform that the slides were built on than the slides themselves. If you ask an IT expert, they will probably tell you the ways in which users abuse the tools they are provided with. From a UX perspective, it's getting creative with suboptimal solutions. UX research is all about building bridges between the product and you. UX research represents your voice at the decision-making table, making sure that your needs are met and your goals can be accomplished. We collect information in a structured way and analyze our findings through rigorous methods. We identify usage patterns through your stories and present new opportunities to our engineering partners. Our goal is to make sure that the tools we are building is a significant improvement to your process, allowing you to spend more time creating the future and less time feeling frustrated because you have to come up with a walk around. So please, if you're looking for something that you can't find, send us feedback. So the next person looking for the same information will have a higher chance finding it. Without you, we can't improve. Thank you for listening.